everyone, if you haven't guessed already from the blog post title or from the fact that you're sat watching me on video, I've decided to start vlogging. Um, I thought for my first little video I would just tell you about why I've come to this decision. There are five reasons, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, as it's my first video, I'd really appreciate any comments or feedback or, you know, just brutally honest criticism. Um, so just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, so for now, here it is, five reasons why I started vlogging. Hope you enjoy! So reason one is confidence. I don't know if this comes across in my writing or not, but I am actually really shy, like really bad. Um, and I really want to try and work on that. So I thought maybe just by doing this, even if it's just once a month or whatever, it might help me build up that confidence in talking to people. I know I'm just sat talking to myself, sat at the laptop, but knowing that people are going to be watching it is enough for me to think, yeah, you know, I can do this if I have to go out and have a job interview or anything like that, that I will be okay talking to them. Um, I recently had a job interview and it was just absolutely awful. The first question he asked me was, say something to impress me. And if you are a shy introvert like me, that is not the first question you want someone to ask you. You want it to be, tell me about your job experience or something like that. So obviously I was just out there like, I don't know what to say. Um, so it's safe to say I didn't get the job, but oh well, it was only breakfast waitress anyway, didn't want it. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping this vlog is just going to give me a little boost, a bit more self-esteem and, you know, just feel a bit more like I can do this when it comes to talking to people I don't know. So fingers crossed that that works. Reason two is making memories. As a blogger, I'm sure you all know we just we just love to write everything down, take loads of photos, just make sure all our little family activities and all the big moments are all recorded and saved forever. Well, I'm always filming stuff on my phone all the time. I have so many videos of Leo just doing pointless things. Like, why would I ever want to watch him sat eating a snack again? Or you know, like. I don't know, just honestly, whatever you can think of, I've probably filmed him doing it. So this will just give me a good excuse to try and do nice videos, not just silly 10 second clips of things that aren't really that important. I'm thinking maybe on nice family days out instead of taking 10,000 photos, which honestly, I do do that. Um, I just make a nice little video and then get that done out the way. And then I'm not there with my camera for the whole of our day out. I can just do a nice little video, maybe a few clips throughout the day and then get home and edit it into a nice piece rather than be there with a camera in his face all the time. You know how it is when you think, oh, this would make a good blog post. I've got to make sure I've got loads of photos. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking nice videos and it would just be a nice way to record our days out and um, all stuff like that. And then it's a nice way of just keeping our memories forever then. We all exaggerate a little bit on our CVs, don't we? Come on, be honest with yourself. There's something on there where it's like, yeah, I kind of bent the truth a bit there. Well, on mine, it says I make videos, uh, which I don't. But in uni, I did. We um, had to do proper professional videos with, you know, making documentaries, using Final Cut Pro to edit it, all of that stuff. I could do, but um, I graduated um, probably like three three years ago now and the closest I've come to making a video is filming silly things on my phone so I thought if I start this I'm not completely lying anymore because it obviously not like this that talking to the laptop this isn't going to impress any employer but um, if I start trying to make nice videos when we go out and stuff and edit them all nice and professional and sleek maybe you know then I'm not I'm not really lying anymore then am I I'm just you know I, I will be someone who makes videos the reason for is variety um sometimes I just think 
my blog is just so much writing. I absolutely love writing it and sometimes I get a bit carried away and some of my posts you probably know end up in like mini essays. But um, I just think sometimes it'd be nice to have something to break up all the posts that are all just text and have something a bit different. And I think a video would be a good way for me to still chat about all the stuff I want to talk about, but um, I don't have to spend ages sat typing and typing and then editing it and proofreading and all that other stuff and sticking in the photos. If I just do little vlogs like this, even if it's once a month or not even that often, just sometimes, then it'll just break up the blog a bit, add a bit of variety and make it a bit more interesting. That's my plan anyway. I'm not sure if it'll work, but it'll be nice to see how it goes. five the last reason why i want to start vlogging is because i think it looks like really good fun i've recently started watching a few vlogs online just to see what it's all about and i absolutely love getting to know people this way um don't get me wrong i do love reading all about you all and all about your families and your days out and everything like that but sometimes being able to watch it is nice and it also means that i can be doing my blog thing but be doing other stuff as well. I can have the laptop on the side in the kitchen and be watching a vlog and be getting on with the cooking or the cleaning. Whereas if you're reading, it's got to have like 100% attention. You've got to be sat staring at the laptop. Whereas this is a bit different. And um, everyone in the vlogs always looks like they're having a nice time, even though we're all crazy people are just sat talking to our laptops. But it really does look like a lot of fun. Um, you won't ever catch me vlogging about makeup tutorials or hair tutorials or anything like that. I'm probably just going to be sat here chatting about whatever pops into my head. But um, yeah, I am really looking forward to it and I think it does look like great fun and I'm hoping that you all enjoy watching. So there's the five reasons why I want to start vlogging. I uh, hope you've enjoyed my first ever video. Sorry about the sound quality, it's because I'm doing it off my laptop and I don't have a microphone. So that's why it's probably a little bit fuzzy sounding. Um, while it's just like this and I'm, you know, I'm probably only going to vlog every once a month, if that, I'm not going to be splashing out on the microphone or anything just yet. I'm hoping maybe if I start doing some on my phone, the sound quality might be a bit better. But for now, sorry, it's a bit tinny. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've liked my first video. Please feel free to say hello in the comments and let me know what you think. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.